Welcome to Black Templar Workshop. Uh, we're going to do some work with the front of the. Okay, so the, the spines cube. that the went on the front. The facade has these uh, vertical rails that run between the windows. Thick. And I'm take a little bit on of the uh, off front of the cube walls. The side and so we're that needs the most work. Might taking that some side down, three eight square so start material I sawed up earlier. And I realized it was a little bit too thick use on, a block plane on one side, so I'm using a block plane chisel here. to uh, shave off a little we'll wood that's the right setting. Uh, from one side of each of the rails. So I just want so to take a very little bit of very lightly a taking off a little bit of material because a plane will take quite a bit off. Yeah, and I'm just uh, trying to make sure that I keep the the impact even so that the uh, there's no high spots or low I spots can check by looking on down each rail. The long Here I'm just line. looking down the end of it to see that it's uh, straight and doesn't have any irregular nicks or uh, spots in it. I'm just looking at it from the other side here. I probably could have purchased some balsa wood that was closer in dimension but I didn't have any at the time, so I just cut this down to shape from some uh, one by two uh, pine. Be even. So here I'm just uh, finishing up some. Okay, that's a little narrow. I think I've think done two or three of these things. Now. Take a little bit more off. If you want, you can shape them a little differently. You could probably make them a little narrower so they don't stick out so far in the face of the to keep. It's really up to you. I I kind of like the, the look of the rail, okay. but when I first put them on there at 3 8 of an inch, it was uh, a little too far out. Might be that way. Okay. So I'm taking off maybe and I'll just sand I know, 16th or so. Get those saw burns. This from is just from that's the just a burn mark from the, the saw um, when I ripped them through. Good. So I'm going to plane the rest of the spines down about like clamp that. it down. But that's actually a, pieces are so a homemade delicate. block plane, uh, yeah, I don't wanna but that's for a different set of videos. It's a lot of time setting up a, a block, um, so I'm just going to do it So I'm almost done here with the, uh, okay. the three strips that's for the, the front. Then I'm going to keep going here. Finish up the last one, I guess, here. So it's pretty rough. Try to work on the side that's the roughest, because um, the plane will take off any of the rough surface. Those and three will go up here to, uh, on the to sand. So here we are trying to place the, uh, the uh, finished. Power. Oh, that's a lot better. Rails on front. That it looks just a looks lot a better less than I did before. And I'm just that's taping good. them in for It'll what? sand. Sand the surface the and get all the little burrs off of I it. I think I mentioned this before. Use the masking tape just to see how they all look here. mock up the, the, uh, the design that I want. And you can do something similar. You can use tape or tape you can even glue it in if you want. But uh, the tape's a lot easier to undo uh, later after the fact if I want to change something. So I'll be just setting up on the right side of the keep here. Excellent. Okay. To see how it That's looks. And then I'm also going to be checking out the tops of the rails. I want to put points on them. And I'll go over that in a separate video top. on how to put the points up there on those uh, pointed, top of yeah. the spires. Point, points on top the top of the, of the spines. Yeah. Sand the surfaces and get them ready to attach onto the front of the of the face of the walls there.